So Daniel Pink's theory, which is the final theory, and I know you're glad. So Daniel Pink would have said, after he heard all those different theories, he would have said, you know, Marty, you're full of crap. All of that is nonsense. Because what he argues in his book called Drive, and think about drive, motivation, is this. His basic premise is there's a mismatch between what science knows and what business does. So in essence, he's saying is this emphasis on the carrot and the stick alone is not well-founded in the literature. And I would agree. It's not well-founded, but the key is this. If you only do carrot and stick, it doesn't answer all of the questions, nor is it the panacea. So it's more than just the carrot and the stick. So what's the alternative to the carrot and the stick? So he argues that there are three essential elements. One is autonomy. This is where job design comes in. So how do you design a position where people have a sense of freedom, have a sense of autonomy, and a sense of control? So maybe they have to do these five things, but can they decide how they do those five things? So that's autonomy. The other is mastery. So how do you design a role such that people uh, have their craft increase? They're getting better and better and better at their particular craft. Or they're getting more and more feedback so they know, wow, I'm really getting good at this and really good and good at that. Purpose. How do you design a role such that people know is what I do matters? It really makes a difference. And I use an example because most of my examples come out of healthcare or wealth management. So for the healthcare example is, if you think about what's called an environmental services worker. So environmental services workers basically clean up hospitals. So if you have an environmental service worker in a surgery center, they're extremely important. Because if they don't clean the surgical suite well, what happens? Hopefully you said is there could be some infection there. Could be some bacteria, could be some virus there. Not so much fungi and parasites in the US. So that environmental service worker, they have an instrumental purpose. They're truly part of the healthcare delivery team. Because if they don't do a good job, then post-op infection rate increases. And if post-op infection rate increases, then there could be more deaths or more adverse outcomes. So again, what Conahop, not Con Daniel Pink would argue is, okay, you gotta have the carrot, you gotta have the stick, but there are three other things, and these are the three other things. So, which of the following HR strategies are aligned with Daniel Pink's theory? Incentive comp? Not so much. That's all carrot and stick. Job design? Absolutely. Incentive comp? Nope. Paper performance? Nope. So, hopefully, after looking at these seven theoretical models, frameworks, if you will, or tool belts upon which to hold your tools, you have a better sense about how to be a better leader, how to be a better manager, better HR practitioner, but fundamentally, how to be, do a great job at designing compensation and benefits programs that drive performance and satisfaction.